We've been spotted. Don't let the Alliance agent get away. His squad is moving down an avenue that connects with your street. Act quickly.
The spy is back where he belongs, in the gentle hands of our counterintelligence. You are true professionals, brave and able. Aren't you tired of mercenaries' volatile life? Come join the Union Armed Forces. You will receive your own apartment in a mega city and 1,200 credits monthly pay. We need men like you. Thanks for the offer, General. We'll definitely consider it. You do that. Meanwhile, here's your reward. Thank you for your service. Molotov out. General Shen Molotov, the bane of all mercenaries, offers us to join the Union. I thought that hell will freeze over before something like this happens. He must really trust us. Great job, Commander. The base is well fortified and fitted with external security systems. Lucky for us, Lucy encountered these in the Jericho base and had some hints for us. I wonder why does a simple medical company need such security measures? To keep the crazy ones at bay? All right, men, move out and try to find out what's going on here. Strange tanks here. There are people inside, standing by for orders. Damn it! What the hell are they doing to those poor souls? Proceed with extreme caution. I don't like this one bit.
As I thought, a mad scientist that conducts experiments on living people. You're such a cliché. So are you going to tell us what exactly it is you're doing here? Or should we first persuade you by, say, breaking a couple of your ribs? Violence. So typically human. Alert! We are picking up multiple targets bearing down on your position. Contact! into other people's affairs. I'll give you one last chance to walk away from this. Leave and forget what you saw, and we won't destroy you. So we leave, and you continue to brainwash and do God knows what else to these people? Ain't gonna happen. Fire at will. You'll pay for this. Kill them. Enemy spotted! Contact!
job. Looks like we've taken out an important alien. I'm afraid they won't let this slide. But what choice did we have? We couldn't just let them use all these people as lab rats. All right, return to base. I will contact the Alliance and ask them to pick these people up. I'm not sure if we're so lucky, or one of the aliens indeed ordered others not to touch us. It's been twice already that we escaped from that flying alien monstrosity. Death of those people is a sad loss. But at least the aliens won't be able to meddle with human minds anymore now that we killed their leader. Alliance is up to date with recent events. They sent us their gratitude. I'm sure you will find the number of zeros in this gratitude quite pleasing. collected everything I could on the Exodus. I'll be honest with you, this data is very disturbing. Exodus is a bunch of fanatics who believe that the aliens are here to deliver us from the evils of this world, that they are our salvation. Not surprisingly, the cultists themselves have no problem with killing, kidnapping, and are armed to the teeth. Anything they can do to attract more publicity. Where did they come from? Quite a lot of people saw the appearance of the aliens as a divine sign. When they contacted the aliens, the so-called gifts of enlightenment were bestowed upon them. Little did the poor bastards know that they were guinea pigs in the aliens' mind control experiments. Exodus members are devout in the loyalty to their masters. They make it their mission to spread the alien influence across human society. They say it's so that everyone could feel the divine blessing of the transcendent beings. Despite the obvious absurdity of their dogma, I think we should treat Exodus as a formidable enemy. Their gear is cutting edge, probably manufactured based on alien technologies. The same goes for their weapons. They wear dark blue or violet armor with depictions of aliens. According to Cutlass's beliefs, those insignias protect them from death. Can you imagine such primitive nonsense in our technological age? If you want my verdict, they're a bunch of nuts wielding some very powerful guns. A very dangerous combination. Revival complete. Commander, we have received a priority message from the Union. Displaying it now. End of message. It also contains coordinates and the sum of reward. It appears that we've made it into the Union's circle of trust. We shouldn't miss out on this opportunity to secure our place in it. Especially when you consider how generous the reward is. Commander, the Council has ordered us to keep an eye on the Exodus and terminate all of their operations. As they work for the aliens, they can't be allowed to continue. I think I've tracked down one of their cells. The cult owns a floor in an office building. There's been a lot of armed men going in and out of that office lately. I suggest we pay them a visit and investigate. General Molotov has contacted us. It sounds urgent. I'm sure you already know that 
Emperor's High Council has decided to install those damn suppressors in our cities. I'll be honest with you. I don't like this plan one bit. What you need to protect a settlement is an army, not some strange contraption. To make things worse, we have intercepted radio chatter of some insurgents who plan on destroying one of the suppressors. When the big shots from Olympus learned about it, they demanded that we ensure safety of the device. But you see, our troops are currently out of town to perform military exercises. And I can't just drag them back on someone's whim. I can't, and frankly, I don't want to. Commander, protect the suppressor from those terrorists. I'm sure your squad is more than capable of handling this mission. I shall await your report. Molotov out. The good old general. As straightforward as they get. And, of course, as usual, he forgot to mention the size of our reward. At least we know the Union always pays its debts. We must dispatch a squad to that megacity right away. 